I hope you guys are having a good day. I hope that all of you guys' dreams come true today. <laughs> At least the, the minor ones. I know you're not going to become a professional basketball player in a day. Hi, if you're new here, hi. I hope you choose to stay <laughs> and hit the subscribe button and like the video and stuff. If you're not new here, then welcome back. Your family, you're cool. You're cool with me. Anyways. <sighs> I wake up to a loud vibration of my phone. Actually, it's the same volume as usual, but it feels amplified in my head. I must be very sensitive if this is enough to wake me up. I've had those days. I have the day to like today. Oh God, my head is just pounding right now. I don't know what's going on, but whatever it is, it's just, ugh, and I feel like crap today. So <laughs> forgive me if like I take a quick break from this. I just need to get some damn sleep already. My fear of the anonymous message has all but vanished. I mean, not mine. I'm still terrified. It fully feels like a wicked, twisted game by now. Five days until the selection. Just the message I expected. Looks like the group text message. It looks like a group text message intended for multiple recipients. Slightly nervous, I put my phone down and head for the bathroom with a staggered steps. <laughs> I'm. It sounds like he's having the exact same day as me. I wash my face to clear my mind a little. <laughs> the more I, the, the more clear my mind becomes, the more aware of the state my body is in I get. With a sense of melancholy, I recall sitting on the massage chair, message chair, Jesus, I am all over the place today. I recall sitting on a massage chair at my favorite Jim Jobang. I hope that's what they say. Correct me respectfully in the comment section where I used to be a regular. The thing could get rid of all my troubles and aches at once. Thinking about it, I bow my head a little and laugh. Thinking about a Jim Jobang in a situation like this. Funny how the human mind works when it's desperate and paralyzed by reality. I walk up, oh, I walk out of the bathroom, excuse me, and picked up my phone right away. If there was a murder today, I could receive the location via text already. Hmm? But curiously, no text pops up no matter how long I wait. It seems like such a terrible incident occurred today. It seems like no terrible incident occurred today. Okay, so I went downstairs to go do something, but I'm back. <laughs> I had to stop the I had to stop the conversation completely right here. But curiously, no text pops up, so no matter <coughs> no matter how long I wait, sorry. It seems like such a terrible incident occurred today. Not it's no such a terrible incident occurred today. That's the third time I've misread that. <laughs> huh? It's embarrassing to admit, but for a second, I somehow feel grateful to these damn monsters. It almost feels like a gesture of kindness not to be tortured with brutal murder cases for a change. Still, I know full well that this only means things are about to get even nastier after a short break. Now that's scary because I didn't think they could get uh, any worse than what they were already were. Ouch. Sorry, I was closing the door. <laughs> I should make the most of my temporary peace. I still have a lot of work to do. I leave my room while sighing loudly. So I'm going to assume that we're on our way to go hang out with somebody for a change and maybe investigate a little more because the things that we got so far like I know I haven't showed you guys what I got so far but as you can see I got uh, rejects women's way which I don't know what that means from the sucky bus uh, we know the witch is a monster of fear which makes me believe that this could be the witch for the first case excuse me and then monster of deception which as second case was deception but 
could there be another monster of deception? Like, could the succubus be a monster of deception? Could the vampire be a monster of deception? So, like, I'm stuck in the middle of not guessing that one until I see all their their things, what kind of monster they are. I finished my morning walk, having a look around at the surrounding terrain. I'm looking for possible escape routes for myself. We already tried to escape, though. Even if I pick out the human for the last day, it'll all be for nothing if I'm stopped in the middle of my escape. I can't let all this effort I'm putting into this be in vain. Ugh. My morning routine is just about over. It's 9.40 a.m. Actually, this crazy part is it's 9.42 for me <laughs> right now. <laughs> oh, that's creepy. My morning routine is almost over. Time for my date now, according to my schedule. What constitutes a date anyway? I laugh at myself. Dating is a very leisurely choice of words. Still, ultimately, that's about the gist of it. I have to establish trust with these women, enough to make them believe in me and follow me on the last day when the time comes. Trust. A simple concept, yet still so difficult to establish. Not so simple for everybody, sir. It can be a little difficult. It's important for me to meet them as much as possible and find a way to make them trust me. All right, time to meet up with them now. All right, so I guess we get to choose, yeah. So we already ha hung out with Mina. We haven't hung out with Nari yet. I don't think we have. We hung out with Ren and we we hung out with Hana. So we hung out with Hana, Ren, and we haven't hung out with these two yet. Although it looks like my trust is a lot more, like Mina trusts me a lot more. Hmm. Let's go see Sumi. Oh God. Monster of deception, huh? Okay, I should go see Sumi. This is gonna be so, so scary because Sumi being the monster of deception, she could trick me into thinking like, oh, she's a human, which technically aren't witches human. Sorry, I was getting some water. So technically she is human, but I mean, a human that does crazy things. I was told Sumi Choi would, is at the abandoned school. I'll be honest, I've only met her once, but that was enough for me to know that we weren't gonna get along too, all too well. I had previously assumed she was one of the local weirdos, but as it turns out, Sumi isn't even from around here. After having witnessed supernatural insanity firsthand, Sumi's words certainly, suddenly, excuse me, don't sound so crazy anymore. After all, she's the only one who warned me to leave this place. If Sumi is a human rather than a demonic monster, she may know more about what's going on here at Hope Hill Village. According to the motel owner, she may not actually be a student. I'm curious about who she is. If she's truly a witch trying to deceive me, she may just be among the most noble liars I've ever met. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It could be that she's just really good at lying. It doesn't have to necessarily be that she's, um, that she's, uh, like a human that just want to help us. Confused in my with a head full of questions, I enter the abandoned school. There's a dirty, run-down, open space that I must have served as a playground once. In the main building's pathetic state is clear evidence that nobody has been here in a long time. I assume he should be around here somewhere. I decide to look around. I hope it's, she's not like far away. And there she is. <laughs> now, I was gonna see her at first and I just decided to switch it up at the last second. So I should have just went ahead and just visited her. And there she is standing there next to an abandoned storage building with her eyes closed. It's so eerie that it's hard to muster up the courage to approach her. Is Sumi Choi really a human? I recall what I was told by the mysterious messages. Apparently, it's possible that Sumi Choi is a witch. If that's true, 
maybe me having some or maybe that maybe me having come here is already part of her plan i mean yeah again we found out that you know her deceiving us is a possibility no i can't let doubts like that sway me right now right now i simply don't know whether she's a human or a monstrous witch and unfounded suspicion and fear will only hinder my progress now correct me if i'm wrong respectfully in the comment section but it, I, I just assume witches were humans that just practice magic <laughs> maybe there's a different form of a witch that i don't know about I've made up my mind about all of this. At the very least, I'll ignore all those gloomy possibilities while with Sumi. I take a deep breath and walk towards Sumi. Oh God. Hey, um, Sumi Choi, right? Mm hmm. I can't remember kind of, I think I gave her like a really high pitch voice like this. <laughs> Sumi just glanced at me without bothering to answer. Is she? going to outright ignore me i don't want to repeat myself so i quietly watch her it looks like she's just isn't she supposed to be like a priest a, pri a, a priestess but a witch too at the same time it's like she's not just standing there but is actually meditating instead <laughs> i laid out in front of her with <laughs> Can you just imagine you're meditating and somebody lays in front of you? <laughs> I laid out in front of her. <laughs> it's a map with small flags and burning incense on it. The atmosphere. <laughs> Sorry, I said I laid out, but it's laid out in front of her is a map too. The atmosphere surrounding her is strange. All these mysterious objects weirdly. <laughs> Okay, I just thought about something so bad. Give me a second. Whew. Okay, the funny thing was, um, what if I left the stove on after I just made some tea? So I had to go and ha, go downstairs and check the tea. But I, I'm all done now. <laughs> With all these mysterious objects weirdly accentuate, <laughs> accentuate, excuse me, Sumi's peculiar appearance. The combination of it all looks strangely intriguing. If I hadn't had a demonic encounter, <sighs> I just thought about it just now. And, and it's going to be weird, so hear me out, you guys. He keeps calling it, like, demonic encounter when he met the witness, but didn't his demonic encounter happen when he met the person that was just kind of like a zombie in the beginning? It's not funny, but it's like, if you think about it, you've been having demonic encounters, ghostly, weirdly encounters since you stepped foot in here. So, but he only keeps mentioning this one thing because this is the most outright, blatantly, plain, right in your face, evil thing that happened. Would it have been quick to label her weird, eccentric nutcase? Esoteric. Esoteric, excuse me. Esoteric nutcase. Now, however... I'm actually interested in the meaning behind these objects and what it all stands for. Why are you here? Uh, sorry? I said, why are you here? Well, I'm just passing through, you know. Um, she doesn't believe us. <laughs> she really doesn't believe us. And I, I like her design. You know, some people kind of weirdly draw uh, bangs weird, but Sumi's... Uh, banks are no are like not normal, but are cute the way they're been and drawn. Mm. But hey, what are you doing? What's this all about? Some sort of meditation? Mm. I'm praying. Praying. I specialize generate anti hunt prayer. Mm. I misread that so badly. I'm so sorry. <laughs> retrograde. Excuse me. A specialized retrograde anti-hunt prayer. Oh. Cool. I think I've definitely heard that term before. But what exactly is it? 
nothing. She really is ignoring us. Excuse me, what's this all about? Really ignoring us, like just outright. Hey, are you listening to me? To ward off deadly plague spreading ghost. <laughs> she sounds quite angry at the fact that, <laughs> that I didn't instantly know what a specialized retrograde anti-hunt prayer was. She seems angry and highly disappointed in me at the same time. Up until now, Sumi had always been really reserved and withdrawn. So this emotional attitude is a bit too much to handle. Um, yeah, she's kind of always been kind of, well, we only met her once. We can't really say she's always been, but we've only met her once and she told us that we would die here. So, but the time that we did meet her, she was all calm and cool and collective. And now she's yelling at us. How long will you be here? What? They're going to kill you. I'm certain I already told you that. Yeah, you actually did. There is a pronounced lack of, lack of detail though, you know? Got any more info to convince me to believe it? I can't keep myself from talking now. I've actually been really patient so far. Hmm. Sumi lets out a frustrated sigh and keeps her mouth closed. Yep, this is really happening. She is completely ignoring me. Eh, you kind of bring it on yourself a little bit. Especially because you can't read retrograde. <laughs> I do my best to stay calm and composed and look at Sumi. It's safe to say that she's not an ordinary human being. Her whole attitude and the mere t mention of another murder in the future leads me to believe she knows something about what's happening around here. If Sumi is a real human, she may actually be a great help to me while, <laughs> while I'm stuck here. Are you sure you want to put your faith in Sumi? Or have I got it all wrong? And all of this is an... Let me see, I'm gonna sneeze. Is an act put on by a witch out to get me. Even then, I couldn't manage. If I appear weak and defenseless in the eyes of a witch, in that case, she might let down her guard and accidentally drop a clue or two for my survival. Either way, I have nothing to lose by associating with Sumi. That means for now, I have to learn to cope with <laughs> the weirdness. Is it weird? Uh, what well, would... We'll, Will I tell Sumi? <sighs> we can offer her help, but she might look at it like, I don't need your help. So we can say that, you know, we need your help. She looks like the type. I think she said she was a priest. I'm not for sure. Or we thought she was a priest because she was like praying over stuff. I don't know what happened in that part. It's been a while since we talked about or talked with Sumi. So I don't know. Um, Here, take a look at this. What's this? Have you heard of Moose Trace? I'm a program director there. Hmm? Oh, look at her little clueless face. It's so cute. Sumi looks puzzled. She really never heard of Moose Trace before? Well, you see, it's this show. It's this show. You mean you create things that are shown on TV? Huh? Well, yeah, it's on TV. The broadcast content is all about... I see. I'm not interested in that. So, why are you telling me about it? Uh-oh. What's with the arrogant reaction? <laughs> yeah, she's kind of evil today. Honestly, don't know how to react to being stonewalled like this. Well, to put it in a simpler term, I need your help. My help... Oh god, she her angry face like I I love the drawings of like their faces. They're so cool. You see, I'm investigating this area. I'm doing a coverage on what's happening around here, and it's too difficult for most people to fully grasp. I suppose that's true. This is not meant for ordinary people to understand. Yes, exactly. That's why I wanted to ask you for your cooperation. Obviously, I'll help you in return if there's anything I can do. I see. I work alone. 
she is really just shutting us out. Hmm. But wait a minute. Hmm? Sumi appears to be lost in thought. I concentrated on her words harder than I ever did during my job interview. Yes. Maybe we can help each other. Right. Two is always better than one. Hmm. <laughs> Sumi beckons me to come closer. Oh God, please don't do nothing weird to me. Don't stab me. <laughs> I approach her and she points at the mat that's laid out in front of her. Does she want me to sit down? I hesitate for a brief moment before sitting down in front of her. There's a small statue looking doll-like thing that she must have picked up from the from God knows where. <laughs> she just found it on the floor and she's like, yes, that's it. As well as several other highly suspicious objects. <sighs> the whole procedure don't stop there. Sumi opens her bag and proceeds to take out a sinister looking talisman. We shall proceed with the ceremony. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Perceptive conscious <laughs> adaptation. Wow. She is definitely got to be a, a priest or quote priest. This getting the S at the end. Because no way she's just carrying around talismans on her own. I know she's like a witch, but I've never heard of witch carrying around talismans. And maybe it's just a certain type of witch, because I know it's not just one form of witches. That's why I said you can correct me respectfully in the comment section below if there's a different type of witch, maybe that I'm not th that I don't know about. We are, we are, and what is it all about? Sumi doesn't bother answering my question and puts the talisman on the statue in front of me. It's even more bizarre and sinister looking up close. Follow my words. Great merciful harmonious tree. Great uh, harm. What? That sounds like me. <laughs> that doesn't sound like. Great merciful harmonious tree. Um. Great, merciful, harmonious tree. Keep repeating those words diligently. Never stop. Never rest. Pour your heart and soul into it. What is this? Some kind of spell? Once more, Sumi doesn't bother answering me and is already busy preparing <laughs> something else. Oh boy. Got it. Got it. All right. Sumi stands in front of me, carefully holding the talisman while chanting the incantation. I can't help but blankly stare at <laughs> this bizarre, ridiculous scene. I see Sumi quietly glaring at me. Um, mm hmm. Oh, so I guess whatever this <laughs> is has started now. Um, great, merciful, harmonious tree. Sumi seems to be back in <laughs> the here and now. <laughs> She, you stop chanting again, she's gonna really put a spell on you. <laughs> she holds the talisman up towards the sky and starts twirling and dancing around. All of this highly <laughs> dubious, <laughs> this is highly dubious, but since I'm already here, I might as well do it properly. I carefully begin to recite the incantation in earnest. Despite being far from religious, I pray as <laughs> if I'm begging for mercy in front of God himself. If this is what it takes for me to survive this hellhole, so be it. You cannot say hellhole and God in the same sentence. That's bad. It's even bad. Great, merciful, harmonious tree. Great, merciful, harmonious tree. Okay, did it work? All of this goes on for about 10 minutes. It feels a lot longer than that, though. Sumi is mumbling something underneath her breath, uh, and excuse me for the sneeze. Ugh, I got it. I caught it. <laughs> and is sweating from all of the wild dancing. And I keep repeating the words without rest. After a while, Sumi stops. Phew. I guess it worked. Something's wrong. Uh oh, no, uh -oh, it didn't work. Why does Sumi look so irritated? You. Excuse me, I had to burp. Yes. 
I expectedly told you to pour your heart and soul into it. But you did. But I did. <laughs> but I did it. Excuse me, I was about to read it in Sumi's voice. I never stopped, not even once. <sighs> your mind is unfocused, tarnished with uh, tarnished by irrelevant thoughts. Hey, how can you say that? I mean, you kind of are thinking about everything else but the, you know, the praying. I desperately did my best. You saw how hard I tried. I protest and argue like a devout worshiper whose faith is being questioned. Hmm. You can't help it. Can't help what? It is only natural and ordinary common folk to have clouded profound thoughts. Profane, excuse me, thoughts. This was a mistake. Seriously? I would have to cleanse you first. Uh-oh. She's gonna like throw water on us or something or, or douse us in, a, in the river or set us on fire or something. Wait, cleanse? Me? And just walks away. Okay, thank you, Simi, for helping. Hey, could you be, could you like answer me? I can say, could you be? While still ignoring me to a frighteningly stubborn degree, she walks towards her bag. This time, grabbing a small bottle of water. I knew it. She's gonna like douse us with holy water. <laughs> she shakes the water bottle several times and mutters something to herself again. Out of nowhere, she suddenly starts taking off her clothes. Oh God, no, 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 no. Starting with her jacket and wait, even her underwear? Hey, 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 time out. What, what are you doing? What are you doing? Remember the incantation. Oh God, I lower my head and try to suppress my wildly <laughs> accelerated heartbeat. <laughs> what is all of this? What the hell's happening? I, um, great merciful harmonious tree. As I recite the incantation, I open my eyes and look at Sumi. Oh my god, look at her cross across the screen. <laughs> I recite it. It's incredibly... I'm sorry. It's incredibly embarrassing to look at. She's dancing around the large open space, spraying water on herself. All while completely naked. Is it freezing? Yeah. <laughs> Isn't it way too cold for that? No, wait. Something else is more important. Doesn't she feel any embarrassment? I bow my head again. No more looking. I'll just have to focus on reciting the words and that's it. Great merciful harmonious tree. Great merciful harmonious tree. Great merciful harmonious... Ah! <laughs> Shocked by his... <laughs> Shocked by the sudden unexpected baptism, I open my eyes. So, oh my God, sue me. <clears throat> Put some clothes on. Sue me, still stark naked, <laughs> is now standing right in front of my face, too close for comfort. Hey, put on some clothes on. Sue lifts me up with the most innocent, casual expression on her face. It spews water. <laughs> it's so much. It spews water from out of her mouth on me again. What? What's this all about? What are you doing? Stop. Don't stop praying. Her angry face is just amazing. Yeah, yeah, but, but please, close. <sighs> Jesus Christ, Sumi. Sumi shows no sign of stopping anytime soon. Instead, she scolds me and takes another swig of water. Damn. <sighs> what have I gotten myself into? Great merciful harmonist. Uh, great. <laughs> With several more wa water bottles splash saliva baptisms. <laughs> I just sit there feeling empty. It's early winter, which means it's freeze I'm freezing my butt off at the top of everything. 
on top of everything, I feel like my last shred of dignity as a human being has been stripped away. I quietly stare at Sumi. She's dancing around while holding the talisman. It's worth mentioning that she's wearing clothes again. Great merciful harmonious tree. <sighs> I'm obviously not stopping. Not after having made it this far. I'll just do whatever she asks me. Not, not like I have an actual choice in the matter now. I try to keep my doubts at bay. The voice in my head, in the back of my head, repeatedly tells me, this is totally nuts. Stop it. Phew. Simi stops dancing. Time. Can't be done. You just went through all that for it not to work. I'm so angry. What? Why? Your thoughts are too rampant, <laughs> infiltrating the plethora of <laughs> misconceptions. You are evil, Subi. You just put us through a huge embarrassment, especially for a guy. I want to say something in my defense, I really do. But she's actually right. It's true that my mind was all over the place and I'm focused. How could we focus with a young lady that's possibly under the age? Maybe. I don't know. Just dancing around, throwing talisman and spitting water on us <laughs> with no clothes on. How old is, can we get like an accurate age if I can feel comfortable or something? <sighs> I guess we can't. Which, no. Oh, God. I would love to tell her, okay, yeah, I would love to tell her that if she hadn't stripped naked and showed me and showered me in spit water, maybe I would have been able to concentrate more. But my social skills told me I should probably keep that to myself. Okay. Moving around this much is very exhausting. This will have to do for today. Sumi is speaking like an old lady awaiting her next pension check starts packing her bag. After we're done, she simply walks away without saying goodbye. And I lie down on the nearby bench feeling utterly exhausted. My whole body aches. My exhaustive, <laughs> I am exhausted physically and mentally, excuse me. Wow. I pull out my smartphone and take a look at myself. This is intense. She really put me through this, <laughs> through my paces, excuse me. I wipe my face and hair with the hem of my coat. I think it's safe to say that casually stripping naked in front of a stranger, a grown man even, is certainly not normal behavior. Of course, none of what I followed was normal by any standards either. Still, Sumi simply doesn't strike me as another insane person. I mean... She's crazy, yeah, but there's more to her. At the very least, she's aware that something bad is happening around her. D Does she truly have the ability to ward off evil ghosts and keep them away from this place? And does that mean I'll have to keep going <laughs> along with some more stuff such as today? Oh God, no more nude to me. Sumi's last words come to mind. She said, this will have to do for today. But that implies I can only shudder at the thought of what else she's got in store for me. I shake my head and laugh out a loud, defeated sigh. Before heading to my next destination, I think about some things, some more, some information, some more, blah, blah, blah. I'm so sorry. All witness aside, it seems like I'm able to to find Sumi here at the school. <coughs> I'm trying not to cough, you guys. In the future. If better or worse, she's willing to help me and won't <laughs> reject me. I'm more afraid of her accepting me more than rejecting me. I, that's just my opinion, but I, you know. It's just some people you'd rather not be accepted by. I'm honestly a little scared of what awaits me in the future meeting with her. Anyways, if I want to see her again, 
I should drive by the abandoned school when I can. I walk away and move on to the next destination. I'm so happy that's over. It says on time like who should I visit? Of course. <sighs> oh, we barely got any trust. My goodness gracious, we barely got any trust. I'm so bad. We haven't visited Nari. I want to get some type of trust with all the girls. So it seems like Mina's going to be the easiest. She's the one we have most to trust with. I think we're going to visit all the girls once. And then if we have time, just visit the one that we want to visit. But I guess Nari's next. Yes, let's go visit Nari. Okay, I should go see Nari. I was told Nari was going to the forest nearby. So I'm going to stop it right here, you guys. I have had some cuts in here, so I have some editing to do because I had to go downstairs like three times because I kept forgetting things and stuff. But thank you guys who did stick in, stick, you know, with the, with this cluster of whatever this was today. I will see all you guys in the next video. Peace and love.